It's your boy Rome. I am out today looking for the components I need to put together a backpack for the homeless here in Houston. But I've been told by a number of people that work with the homeless on a daily basis when putting together backpacks or anything like uh, like that try not to buy brand new backpacks because they will become big targets for theft so ideally what you want to look for is something that is used that if they're you know on the move and they're using these backpacks carrying the stuff that you give them they won't become a huge target let's see and I see a number of things that I think would be very very beneficial but that's for another day today my target is to find a backpack And usually, whenever I come to a Goodwill, they're always up on top. Now these type of bags like this, you could use something like this. This could work too. But I think the backpack is gonna be something easier to carry. Dun, dun, dun. And of course, because I'm looking for them. And yes, it would have been much easier just to ask someone where are the backpacks. <laughs> but. I guess I'll go with the one that I saw up front. Because the objective for myself as well as um, our club members is that each one of us will find a backpack then fill it with essentials that a person can benefit from meaning um, I have a whole list of things that I'm going to be looking for I just want to make sure the backpack is secure now this can work I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that could work. Uh, I don't see anything else, so... At some point, we will come through locations like this and look for, like, shirts and some other type of wardrobe. But right now, the objective is to just put together a very basic uh, backpack for the homeless all right guys here we are at Dollar Tree I just picked one near the house because <laughs> it's near the house so anyway I have my list of course See if we can get started with some of our items. So we already got our backpack. The next thing we want to try and find, if they have any, and if they don't have them here, I'll probably get them somewhere else. But here's one thing, one item we definitely need which is going to be toothbrush and toothpaste. Uh, which one shall we go with? Don't make it so complex. Here's one with two toothbrushes. As our toothpaste. Hmm. We're going to need soap. I could 
probably get, yeah, let's get some of the hand sanitizer. That's not really on my list, but I'll get it anyway. This is always helpful. Vaseline petroleum jelly, good for the skin. Deodorant is a must. So let's just grab the speed stick. Oh, soap is right here. Let's get him some dial soap. I think there's two, two in that pack. What are we missing? Let's see. We need, whoops, excuse me, sir. We need socks. Here we go. Two pair of socks. Are these men? Oops. You didn't see that. So I think that's two pair of socks. Nothing here that really strikes me as a necessity. Okay, so we got the socks, deodorant, toothpaste, hand sanitizer. I'll probably come back this way for snacks, but here's always something that's really good. One of these meals in a can. These are pretty good, but I think for the backpack, this is probably going to be more efficient. So I'll get two of those. Here's some. Applesauce, that's always healthy. At least it's good. What am I missing on my list? I was looking for band-aids. But somehow I'm way down here. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we have. Now here's some juice. I don't see apple juice, or do I? There we go, pack of apple juice. That's cool. <clears throat> no, don't see anything over here. Um, Looks like that's it other than our band-aids, baby wipes, which is probably going to be in the same area. You guys didn't see that, but I almost literally walked into that pole. Here's all your party supplies. I don't think we need any toys. Ah, pins, pad. So we want to get at least one little notepad and some pins. <clears throat> that way a person can write down and keep track of their important numbers. 
uh, job leads, housing leads, anything that's going to help them keep somewhat organized. And Am I just not seeing it? There we go, band-aids. So, so fabric bandages and what else do we need? I was just over here. <laughs> don't see baby wipes. I don't think they really have a, a section like that. <clears throat> no, I don't see it. So that might be an item I have to pick up at a different location. Let me see, let me ask. No, go ahead. I don't think there's any here because by now I would have passed them. All right guys, so I'm gonna pay for these items and then head back to the house. I'll start assembling the backpack. There's a number of canned goods that I have at home that I will be adding to the backpack. Oh, I know one of the things that I wanted to get. <clears throat> I know that in a lot of the videos, people talk about getting um, items that are easily openable, you know, that have like a flip top or a lid or something like that but I think a few of the ones that I have at home which are things that I actually consume myself you know here's a can opener should get the job done and that's something they'll be able to use you know over and over again so that's about it guys this is our haul for today for our items other than a few more items that I will be adding um, that I already have at home to put together a backpack. So I will see you guys later in this video. Peace. I'm out. I decided to go with this backpack when I was over at Goodwill because it's a little bit, you know, lower profile. It has this reflective material on it. That way, if a person's out at night and they're running around, it's a good chance this could, you know, help them, you know, with visibility so somebody doesn't run them over. So that's our backpack. That's our apple juice, uh, <laughs> applesauce, can opener, socks, pin, apple juice, our notepad, soap. There is our petroleum jelly, deodorant, band-aids, and I got all of this for slightly over my $20 budget. I got two of these. I got, sorry about all this rustling hand sanitizer, two toothbrushes, toothpaste, and I think that's it. Yep, that's it. So, what I think I'll do is put all of the items here, like the pen, the can opener, toothbrush, deodorant, Band-Aid 
and the soap. Will all that fit? Yeah. Petroleum jelly. A little notepad. And looks like everything will fit in that one compartment in our socks. Well, we can probably get this in here because, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so next we'll place these just add water meals. There's a toothpaste, our applesauce, apple juice. Let's make sure we're going to get everything in there. I may have to do some arranging, but you guys kind of get the idea. So we have our cans of chili, corn, soup. Man, this thing's going to be heavy. <laughs> I can tell already. Okay, and our bottles of water. Let's zip this up somewhat. Make sure. Okay. So we should be able to get both bottles of water in there. Maybe, maybe not. At least we can get one of them in there. Cool. Almost, almost. All right, that's it. And then I can put the other bottle of water here in this little side pouch. That's it. Perfect. There we go, guys. That's our homeless care backpack for under or around $20. So I encourage you all to do something like this if you can afford it, or you know maybe even take up a collection from a few friends and you know five dollars each, and you know put together one of these backpacks and go out and help someone in your community. So I'm gonna put the other bottle of water here on the other side. Go out and help someone in your community, and. You know, this is what we do. You know, this is a big part of the bike lifestyle, you know, giving back because we are so blessed. We are, you know, on a level that, you know, a lot of people wish they were on or strive to be on. And I do not say that in any way that I would want someone to take conceitedly because, you know, I feel like I worked hard to achieve where I'm where I'm at in life. And I know a lot of others have. So to give back is to ensure our future. You know, to help those who maybe have fallen on hard times, you know, many of them, you know, they didn't do anything wrong. It's just things, you know, happened, you know, whether it was political, whether it was medical, whether it was, you know, you know, factory shut down or they went through a divorce or any number of reasons why they are in the situation they're in. That's not for us to judge. You know, it's only for us to do whatever little bit we can do to help these people move on to a better life. Any little bit of help, any little bit of kindness. You would be amazed to someone out there who is living on these streets day to day to just feel like someone took out of their day and spent a little bit of time to give something to them or to even acknowledge that they even exist. All right, guys, it's your boy Rome. I'm going to cut this video at this point. Please subscribe, share and comment in the bottom if you have any questions if you'd like to talk further about putting these backpacks together or maybe somehow that you know your community is already doing something like this i would love to hear about it because maybe that's something i can incorporate into what we're already doing so again it's your boy rome and i will catch you guys in the next video peace i'm out